Hello, hello. We are here talking about the art of returning to love, how to show fear and stress the exit. And today we're going to touch a little bit on the idea of fear idea. I mean, that's kind of a weird way to say it, but the situation that fear is, if you will. It's the thing is, is it's really stressful for a human system to carry fear on the regular. We've all heard that fear was just meant to sort of be a short term thing to alert us to anything in our environment. But the problem is, is in our current way of living, we run fear constantly and it's incredibly stressful to a human body. So uh, I'm on page, let me just run over here. I'm on page 22 and I wanted to just say that it is actually a law of energy. It's a, it's a spiritual law that we must release energy of a lower nature. This is all based on frequency, measurable, in order to have the energy of a higher nature. Again, based on frequency and it is measurable. And this causes everything to work in a body and life. <laughs> so let me give you an example. Fear is, is the most dense energy on the planet, fear and hate actually. And under the umbrella of fear and hate are all kinds of variations, right? We have doubt, we have disappointment, we have regret, we have shame. I mean, it's a kind of a long list. And I think, yeah, that list is, it's a much more uh, complex list in the book. And then on the other frequency balancing, you know, scale, if you will, is the energy or the, fi the vibration of love and, and or gratitude. Those are very close. And under that are very, you know, variations of that, right? There's joy, there's uh, compassion, there's um, mercy, you know, there's all kinds of elements to each of them. So in order to transmute or transform fear, we, we need love. We cannot transform fear. We cannot de-stress a human system without the energy of something like love and gratitude. And the, again, the list is in the book. So I, I do recommend that you grab that because uh, the other thing that I will say before I forget is that there's part of the um, bonus of having the book is a guided imagery to changing these, these frequencies, right? So when we connect to our higher self, our higher self is already completely whole and of the vibration of love. So when we're disconnected, we, we, we lean into fear. When we're connected, we have access at least to be to being taught what it means to bring an energy of fear or any of its variations to the feet of love, to the heart of love, to be transformed back into love, which is the, the nature of all of life anyway. And there's no devotion more important. So it's why I, you know, kind of beat the drum a lot of making the invitation for you to read the book because it will help you to do this. So there's a, you know, you've probably heard f fear is an acronym for false evidence appearing real. But actually there's a higher way of looking at it, which is face everything and rise. So the vibration of love is, is more of a elevated uh, energy. And so that's one way we can think about rising into or elevating into the vibration of love. But we can't do it unless we turn toward the energies that show up in any given moment and, and accept that, not make ourselves wrong for it because we're not. Everybody has this. Everybody has their own pile of fear. <laughs> it's, you know, it's part, it was part of the deal of coming into being in a human experience, right? Yes, I will clean up my, my pile of fear. That's what we said. Uh, however we said it, but some version of that, right? And and how do we know what to do? How do we know what to clean up? Because everything that presents itself in any given moment is is available. It's ready. It's ready to be cleaned up, so to speak. And it's not like your pile of fear is going to pour itself on you in one big dump, you know, and suffocate you. That's what we're afraid of. But it doesn't work like that, right? It's just like, oh, I woke up today and I, I had an exchange with my teenager and it, it was kind of funky. You know, there's a piece right there. We can clean it up. And 
and this is what I recommend you do. And I also recommend that you set your day up with the intention that this be um, this be graceful and easy for you. Because it, I, I have found that when I don't do that, it can be a little stickier and then I won't want to do it as much, right? So when I say, I am happy to do my part in returning fear to love, uh, one, you know, one just easy and and uh, graceful all throughout the day. Not all day, please, but just in pockets that I am available. You know, uh, I, f I find that love or my higher self is a very elegant um, director of, of time and space. And I invite that energy into, uh, how do I say it, for gently ordering my mind, body, schedule, and life. So schedule to me means how everything plays out. And since I started doing that, it's pretty, it's pretty miraculous or, you know, wonderful how, how that has, how, how, how that has unfolded for me. So the other thing I want to say about fear is that when we go fast, when we're churning fast in our mind, and this is a very common thing that almost all of us do, we don't, we, it's hard for us to recognize fear and fear relies on that. Fear relies on our rushing and pushing to to not get discovered that it's there because fear doesn't want to have to give up the gig if you will it doesn't want to, have to give up the gig to love and uh but the ironic thing is that when we do this work and we just kind of face and return uh fear is happier the parts of us that have fear well first, first of all that energy gets transformed but the part of us that throws out fear bombs if you will real starts to realize that it's actually a much more um it, it's a much easier way to live by not rushing and not being in fear so you know we say oh breath is wonderful but breath is also the breath is not only does it fill us with oxygen it fills us with cosmic life force but it also teaches when we're taking a deep breath it teaches our body that we're safe and when when the when a system feels safe a human system feels safe then it is easier for it to be able to say, huh, let me face this energy that's presenting itself right now, this trigger, this charge, this emotional pain, whatever it is, let me face it and just accept it and just be with it and then do the work of, of, of offering and, and bringing this energy to my heart. And the book teaches about how to do all of this, right? I mean, it's more than just our little time together here. So, and, and then there's two things, like if you're just stuck, if you don't remember anything I just said, but you have a piece coming up, um, there's two things you can do. One is you can get curious. So you can say, huh, what is this about? What is this trying to have me know? Engaging in curiosity, engaging in inquiry, disarms fear. That's, you have to play with that to teach yourself that that's really, it loosens fear up a little bit and it, it, it releases the chokehold that fear tends to cause in us as a human being. The other thing you can do is just reach for gratitude. Sometimes that's easy to do and sometimes it's not reachable, but it is something to know that you have because you can always just go, oh, I love the color of that, of the leaves of those trees, or I love the color of this, you know, this, uh, flower on my desk or this pen. <laughs> I mean, you know, we have things around us, you know, anywhere we are really that we can, we can just minutely reach for and be grateful for. And then we're facing and we're bringing it to love. And that is what elevates us or allows us to rise above the fear. This is what, this is the work. If, if you think, if, if anyone thinks that, that this work can't, it, this work doesn't need to be included in any other way that you're, you're walking your path, then it will be a large foundational piece being left out. And, and then the, the, it's a time waster because we have to end up coming back around to do this work, this piece of this work, right? So take five minutes, five to 10 minutes a day in the morning to connect to your higher self, be intentional and clear about how you want your day to go and in, and the other thing, so there's there's two pieces that we cannot do without. One is our breath, because that's our life force, and our life force is everything. And two is the invitation of light, because light carries love. That's like a yin yang, alpha omega, masculine feminine uh, dance that we are living in 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 this physical experience that we don't always 
recognize or give enough credit to, right? So light carries love. So that's the invitation. Oftentimes when I'm not sure what else to do, you know, when I'm bringing my fear piece or my pain piece or my doubt piece or my, you know, disappointment piece or whatever it is uh, to the feet of love, I, I'm also inviting light to infuse into that, into that energy of fear so that it can kind of uh, do the work of starting to dismantle and untangle the fear and then and then I'm shown by love by my higher self what needs to happen in reference to that one particular piece it's not the same for every piece it's not the same for everybody it's as varied as all of our you know fingerprints thumbprints right but you don't have access to knowing what that is unless you're present with yourself you stay in your body you're breathing you, you, this is the signal that you're safe and you're inviting from your higher connection, your higher self, your higher presence. You're inviting to be shown how to do that transformation from fear to love. And it, it is, it works every time if you show up for it. That's probably the best way to say it. So I appreciate, I really, really would love to invite you to practice and play with this over the week. Um, and let me know what, what, what you what you discover what shows up for you what what love teaches you as you bring this energy to the feet of love and um as i tend to do <laughs> towards the last of these videos instead of somewhere in the middle or in the beginning <laughs> i just want to you know thank you for being here uh, I, and to introduce myself if you don't already know me i'm Lori morrison a 30-year practi practitioner of chinese medicine and the director of the sacred health academy which is an online um learning, educational uh, experience, if you will. We walk a labyrinth of untangling all of this energy that we're talking about. So what I just said in this, you know, little 10 minutes, we take lots of time and we really, we really um, unpack our life in a safe way and also a creative way, a joyful way. Um, and, you know, a way that teaches our mind that this doing this work is safe and not only safe but it makes everything better and it's and it heals this is a personal medicine so uh again thank you for being here today and um if you have any questions pop them in the comments and certainly let me know how things roll with your trans with your bringing fear and transforming it into some version of love Again, you, you know, you might not be able to love your fear in, in, the, in, in the instant that you notice it, but you can massage it in that direction and that will begin the, the change. That will begin the shift for you. And just don't give up on it. That's the, that's the other bottom line. Other angles might show themselves to you and you can go, oh, cool. I, I didn't realize I had that angle uh, associated with this particular piece, but let me, you know, let me do this work with that piece too. So thank you for doing this work. I don't know that you, we, we realize how impactful it is to the collective consciousness and how it begins tipping the scales um, away from hate and war and more towards love and peace. And that is, that's the direction we're moving in anyway. So we might as well all get on board, all hands on deck and do this work piece by piece so that those scales can get tipped in more um, graceful ways, okay? So thank you for being here and I look forward to hearing how, how this goes for you.